after the governor signed a law to require oil wells to be more than 3,000 feet from spaces that he described as sensitive areas. A new measure has qualified for the 2024 ballot, asking voters to now overturn that law. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Fox 40 Capital reporter Aton Wallace gives us a look at how we got here and shows us what the law supporters and opponents are now saying. Well, supporters of the law say it ultimately comes down to protecting those who live near wells, but opponents argue it will only make California more reliant on foreign oil. Well, now you, the voters, will have the final say. The debate in California is back. Where should oil wells be allowed? And where should they be forbidden? Eyes 25, nose 10, the measure passes. This was last fall when the legislature passed and the governor signed SB 1137 into law as part of his 2022 climate package. The law requires all oil and gas wells in the state to have a buffer zone of at least 3,200 feet from places deemed as sensitive areas like schools, homes, hospitals, and parks. As the bill moved through the legislature last summer, supporters lobbied in favor of it amid concerns oil wells too close to communities could lead to pollution and health risks. Telling the gas and oil industry that we're done. And that we're also ensuring that we're protecting our, our residents. It signifies that the tide is really changing on big oil in Sacramento. But the fate of the law is now up in the air. That's because state officials announced opponents of SB 1137 successfully collected and turned in more than 623,000 valid signatures as part of a referendum effort seeking to overturn the law. As a result, the law is now on hold and a proposal to repeal it has qualified for the 2024 ballot, giving voters the final say in a law opponents argue will hurt the state's oil economy. That's going to shut down a lot of California energy production and simply uh, increase our reliance on imported foreign crude. Rock Zierman is the CEO of the California Independent Petroleum Association, or SIPA. He argues the oil industry already adheres to California environmental regulations requiring wells be at least 300 feet from sensitive areas, and he now worries what SB 1137 could mean for jobs. Well, there are 55,000 workers directly employed by our members. Their average pay is $123,000. What I would do is I would invite the governor to come and meet with our workers in the Central Valley and talk to them about uh, their jobs and what that provides their family and contrast that with what 1137 wants to do, which is produce less here and import more from the Amazon rainforest, from the Saudi royal family. And I think anybody would choose our workers over foreign imports. And the governor came out against the repeal effort. He urges Californians to uphold SB 1137. General Election Day is November 5th, 2024. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.